Welcome everyone, and thank you for being with us here today. It's an honor to speak at the Horse Tech Conference, and a warm and gracious thank you to David Dalady for having us. My name is Luke Cole, and I'm here today with my lovely wife and partner, Sandra Cole. We are the founders of the Clean Earth Bot System, a solution to an age-old problem of manure management. Oh yes, we're going to talk about robots picking up poop and completely removing your pile of horse manure. Our vision involves reimagining the livestock industry's plumbing system. Plumbing for humans was a game changer, let alone required for a number of reasons. It only makes sense that horses and other livestock follow suit. The Clean Earthbot system is set to provide clean environments and transform a discarded waste into a valuable resource. So what is the Clean Earthbot system? Let's take a look at our demo video that we're confident will help hone in your understanding. My name is Sandra Cole, co-founder of Coltec's Clean Earth Box. In 1894, cities confronted a horse manure crisis. Cars became the solution. Today, our paddocks battle with the manure crisis and fertilizer shortages, both intensified by the climate crisis. Our solution, a robot that harvests and converts paddock manure into biogas and organic liquid fertilizer. This will promote a localised circular economy on a global scale. Please join us in pioneering this $5 billion industry, a new frontier of manure mining and help safeguard our planet. Pretty exciting stuff, and our horse musket happily munching grass. It's a world first to see a robot with a horse. Yes, and it's great to see a wonderful use of robots. We like to think of it as a rumba for your paddocks. That's a great analogy, Sandra. But let's not forget there's two additions here. The collected manure is transformed into organic fertilizer on site, and then sped, spread back through the paddocks. Yes, and that transformation is done with it with a biogas digester that is becoming increasingly popular as an advanced compost solution. That's true, Sandra. And traditional methods of putting manure around paddocks is, well, basically moving this problem around. The Clean Earthbot system is set to actually resolve the problem correctly, enhancing paddocks regrowth and horse welfare. Let alone a massive time saver. I recall wanting to ride my horse one day, but I was torn between riding and picking up poop. Then I had a brilliant idea popping in my head. My husband builds robots. Yeah, I remember that taste, Sandra. And also recall when we envisioned the full picture for a true circular economy, economy linking manure collection with on-site fertilizer production and delivery. It was certainly a wow moment. Oh, a big wow moment. Manure management isn't just a local issue. It's a global problem. Horses alone generate enough manure that, if managed properly, could prevent up to 108 million metric tonnes of CO2 equivalent emissions every single year. That's a, that's a substantial impact, Sandra, and it highlights the opportunity for equestrians to lead the way in sustainable manure management. But the problem doesn't end with horses. 
Other livestock industry also face enormous waste challenges. This is true. The clean earthbots design is scalable. And while we're starting with equestrian facilities, the same approach can be extended to other livestock industries. With proper manure management, waste becomes a valuable resource instead of a liability. That's a strong point to make, Sandra. But let's focus on the horse industry for a moment. Each horse produces about 50 pounds of manure daily. That translates to about over nine tons per year. Managing that waste quickly becomes a significant burden and many facilities resort to storing manure in piles or just spreading it back through the paddocks. Yes, and these piles attract flies and pests which spread disease. Fly infestations arise from eggs and larva being distributed. Oh, flies bother me too, Sandra. Let alone the ammonia that builds up and that affects the air quality. And let's not forget the runoff pollution contaminating global water sources. Yes, it's very unfortunate. But let's talk about spreading raw manure back into our paddocks for a moment. Manure spreading means the seeds digested by the livestock can get back into the paddocks by sprouting weeds across our fields. In turn, this would just, well, just increases maintenance, let alone allows parasites and pathogens to spread through grazing areas. Yes, and don't forget that manure can cause hoof diseases like thrush, let alone we're all becoming more aware that deworming resistance can be resolved by simply picking up the poo and not spreading it into the paddocks. That's pretty simple. I was really amazed to learn that insight, Sandra. It's actually pretty cool that so many problems can be resolved with just, well, the correct manure management. This is why I wanted you to build me a robot to pick pick up that manure. It just seems like the next logical step. What can I say, Sandra? Um, I guess I agree. But let's uh, let's discuss how the biodigester transforms and filters the manure into something of a great bait. A biogas digester is not new technology, but adoption in into the Western market is relatively new. We mostly see large installations, but this requires transport to those locations. And transport comes with costs and more problems. So it's true, and it likely means that the, the valuable resources that are produced from these large facilities are actually sold back to the end users that are providing these raw materials in the first place. Yes. Doesn't it make sense to have smaller scale digesters on site, like a horse toilet, reducing transportation time and costs and, and allowing livestock operators to produce their own fertilizer for their paddocks and or perhaps on sell adding value to their businesses that's something to think about sandra so let me help let's help everyone understand what is a biodigester it basically mimics a cow's gut you feed the digester organic decomposable raw material such as manure grass clippings or even food waste it is, then it is then processed at high temperatures, killing weeds, seeds, parasites, pathogens, eliminating fly eggs and larvae. The output of the system is sterile, nutrient-rich liquid fertilizer, high in nitrogen and phosphorus, which is what plants need. But there is a byproduct. Yes, a byproduct known as biogas, a renewable energy source that, can, that can be used for hot water systems, cooking stoves, gas lamps, or power generators that in turn can power barns or run equipment. So with the Clean EarthBot system, manure becomes a resource instead of a problem, offering economic and environmental benefits. Our robot takes care of three essential tasks. One, it collects manure directly from the paddocks before it builds up. Two, it transports the manure to an on-site biogas digester for processing. Three, distributing the produced liquid fertilizer gold safely onto our fields. This technology could also lead to robotic lawnmowers feeding biogas digesters. That's something to think about too, Sandra. Well, this robot is going to use GPS guided navigation and advanced sensors, and it operates autonomously, ensuring minimal, minimal disruption to horses and allows staff to focus on higher priority tasks. To clarify some key points, frequent manure renewal removal disrupts breeding cycles, leading to fewer flies and pests. 
It also improves air quality by preventing ammonia buildup, creating a healthy environment for both horses and staff. Cleaner paddocks reduce the risk of, risks of thrush, promoting healthy hooves, while using sterile fertilizer and with eliminating pathogens, ensuring parasite-free pastures. With automated processes in place, we see a reduction in labor demands, preventing burnout, and allows staff to spend more time focusing on, on horse care and training, enhancing overall well-being and performance. We believe the equestrian industry can lead the way in sustainable manure management. Equestrian facilities already embody animal care, environmental responsibility, and operational efficiency. And the Clean Earth Bot system aligns perfectly with these values. It is important to remember that while Clean Earth Bot is starting with equestrian facilities, this, the, te the technology has potential applications across various livestock industries. Addressing manure management globally will have a significant impact on both the environment and agricultural practices. That's true, Sandra. And we appreciate, this is a, this is a bold vision, right? However, I'm confident we have the skills, experience and team. I'm the technical founder of a long-standing product development and robotics company known as Coltec. Over the years, we, offer, we, have, we have offered our clients seasoned skills, experience and equipment, taking ideas to battle-hardened, mass-produced hardware. We've also been known as thought leaders, and we also have a strong track record. At our innovative makerspace lab, entrepreneurs, inventors, and companies come to us to turn their ideas into a reality. Over time, we've collected a number of awards, and we've become well known to be the ghostwriters for much new product development work out there. And we've also been invited to various events for industry leaders. We work over a broad range of hardware and software projects. And we also aim to review complex problems like this with the aim to find solutions. So where did it all start? For me, uh, my personal experience dates back to the 1990s with the pioneers of mobile autonomous robots and computer vision at the most wonderful Australian National University. I also worked with CSIRO and Seeing Things. This work was vast, but noted some notable project was a self-driving car, eye tracking and drone development. I was fortunate enough to also be the lead developer of a company called Location Aware Technologies, where we developed indoor asset tracking, where GPS just doesn't want it. I've also been, I was also hired by Hemisphere GPS, which was previously called Beeline. It was the first auto steer company for agriculture tractors. Would you believe in 2010, I enhanced their system to be the world's first automated tractor, controlling tractor speed, hitch, end turns, and stopping within a GPS defined boundary. I was very grateful for that work and I'm profoundly grateful that my experience and skills have led myself to be invited overseas to develop other bleeding edge technologies, such as a trivial voice recognition system in Sweden and a low platform mobile robot to move humanoid dummies around mock-up towns. This was used for, by German car manufacturers to help test their smart cars. This robot was designed so it can be driven over without any damage to itself or even the expensive smart car prototypes at that time. It is similar in size to a doormat. You can simply place anything soft on top like a dummy. It was a pretty cool novel robot with a significant impact to the development of the driver assist and self-driving cars we see today. For over 10 years now, I've been full-time with my company, focusing on taking ideas from my clients through R&D, through the R&D process, all the way to commercialization across a wide range of industries. I'm confident my experience coupled with my wife's long, long love, passion and experience for the equestrian world enables a unique team to revolutionize horse tech and disrupt the industry in a way for not just the people, but more importantly, the horses and our planet. To bring, to bring the clean earth pod to market, we are seeking partners and investors. Let us explain why we feel this is a compelling opportunity. Firstly, the global equine industry is worth billions, with increased demand for sustainable solutions. Our technology aligns with trends in automation, renewable energy, and climate action. Let's not forget that powerful metric. 108 million metric tons of CO2 emissions could be prevented annually through proper use, through proper horse manure management. 
With Luke's expertise in autonomous systems, we can further develop this technology to a scalable solution, ready to make a positive environmental impact. I agree. And starting with the equestrian facility as well, it's just smart. And then we can expand to other livestock sectors. In summary, the Clean Earthbot system makes manure management simple, sustainable, efficient and powerful. If you're interested in investing and, and or partners, partnering with us, please con- place us at our website, coltech.org, or reach out to us directly through LinkedIn. Today, we can turn waste into an opportunity and create a healthier, more sustainable future. Thank you for your time today. We look forward to working with forward-thinking partners to bring the Clean Earth Bot system to life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.